Blessings and peace, blessings and peace, and welcome to the Ice Turner experience. It's something you can't define, you can only experience. You know, I just always hear the saying that strength is in numbers. Now, from a macro aspect, it makes sense in regards to uh, a collective of like-minded beings. Uh, one common theme and goal towards a mission. Now, if you look at um, the book of Nehemiah, it makes perfect sense. If you look at the Tower of Babel, it makes perfect sense. But from a micro perspective, I actually uh, look at numbers in a different way and uh, hopefully you can uh, walk with me and, and come into new uh, aspects of truth and understanding. Because to me, when you look into numbers, as we've uh, been taught, I believe we get the broken down crayon or the watered down paint supply that's illustrating the art to us. And our uh, human understanding is limited and uh, fragments of truth in regards to comprehending. That's why I believe we are disconnected to the point that we can't even fathom the language of uh, frequency, vibration, energy, photons, gamma rays, let alone the state of our own consciousness and beingness. As the Lord said, be holy, for I am holy, right? We don't know how to be. Because we need points in our direction that uh, we can grasp as we are currently disconnected from that concept of consciousness, frequency, vibration, and energy. Little do you know our wisdom, our insight, knowledge, comprehension, self-reflection, self-reflection, and expression. All derived from that connection from within, that way of understanding. As I said before, in regards to self-reflection is twice because once you uh, get an understanding of yourself, you have to revisit that understanding to get a deeper understanding. The number two is duality. And if you think about it, our comprehension becomes an experience of the frequency, vibration, energy, and beingness. That we know life through numbers, geometrical shapes, colors, light, spirit, intellect, and consciousness. I remember Jay-Z said, I, I, I see in colors, I, I speak in colors, right? He's been sprinkling the code to you. See, 144 hertz is a frequency of 144,000, as is 11, 22, 33, 44, is a master number. So why are we still stuck in translation and transition and ascension to becoming Christos or Christ conscious or God likeness? See, I believe our great awakening derives from our ability to recall our true being in 144 hertz frequency and state of consciousness. That means our state of being like Yahweh, in the image and likeness of Yahweh. Yah, male, way, female, reconnected principle of yin and the yang through the black dot. That has nothing to do with this virtual reality or this hologram that we've uh, come accustomed to seeing with our physical eye of understanding or with our limited humane perspective. Because 144 hertz should sound like God frequency in our cranium transmitting wavelengths.
a lot of times I believe when I'm, uh, you know, chopping with uh, my brother Manimal, we speak in frequencies. We might speak, you know, the language of the English, but we understand things at a deeper level in the conversation. Because back in the day, we built pyramids as men iron sharpening iron to developing a better I am through our own utilities and skill sets. So that's what basically made the temple of God. Because the temple of God is a pyramid. And as a man building and establishing the law within himself, he is the perfect example of that orientation. As below, so above. As within, so without. See, a man is permitted to manifest anything that his heart desires. And he's only limited by his own ignorance and his own laws and customs. See, we are built to remain on our square just as we were born on that square. And how do we get to that place? When we meditate on that black dot. See, that is to unfold that cube of understanding or manifestation along our central axis. See, our square base is a constant reminder that our home of wisdom, awareness, is firmly founded in that connection to nature and those immutable laws. And the angles of the square are still vertically and three squares profoundly across horizontally and our level of intelligence and truth or we would say the cross and the uh, metaphysical expression because a man is a fourfold unit concerning the elements of his own constitution earth utility fire inspiration water intuition air acumen and one of the fundamental keys to the mystery of our great pyramid is the apex of our understanding, is our all-seeing eye, our crystals, our penal gland, our psychic, our prophet, our eastern star, because our temple is the physical construct of the universe, as above, so below, as within, so without. We are atom, stardust, Six, six, six. Neutrons, protons, electrons. We are carbon based beings that are melanated. And this happens to be carbon under pressure as it produces us into becoming diamonds. And that diamond is the mind's eye and the capstone of us. And the spirit is the capstone of the mind. And God is the epitome of the whole or the capstone of his divine spirit. So our temple isn't complete until we ourselves become the living apex through that divine power. Majority of our eye is closed. I like to say eyes, but it's really our eye. That's the dying, the power within because of responsibility that comes with it. Responsibility, your ability to respond. Stimulus versus response. The action to what's happening. So we have to decide to open our eye, our state of consciousness, in order for us to be free from our subconscious so we can be fully aware of what is actually taking place. Now this is the exact science of psychological regeneration and healing. See, we need more thinkers to navigate the seven seas, especially in the vortex of math and the Enneagram. As generating light force, the seventh chakra, guided by the North Star, the compass and square, that that compass has 32 points. Three times two equals five. Life drawing a circle. The two legs represents the idea of man's power in congruence with female at an angle 
that is measured in different planes through the transactional analysis with his truth you see the two legs see within that pyramid or temple the ten sepra is within us the ten spears of light on the tree of life is us now going back to that 144,000 the petals of the main chakra or the corneal located in the summit of the cranium represent the 144,000 rays of light originated from all seven chakras or the centers of energy of the body deployed and balanced again that the 144,000 vibrations of the divine creation which travel in the cosmos and at source of life. See, whenever I think of the narrative of Job, the first thing that always comes to mind first is ascension. Especially when the East is mentioned in scripture. Because they are indicating the sun, which always rises in the East. And is symbolic of the incarnation of the soul that dies in the bowels of the earth. Now the incarnation is part of the physical plane. It rises again to higher states of consciousness. In order for that cycle to take precedence, our adversary in this case, the ego, Satan, must be present to stir up the spiritual evolutionary process. So why do you think Satan and the tree of knowledge of good and evil were in paradise with Adam and Eve? Remember the garden being in the east. Remember Eve, our ego, vanity, and emotions. And remember atom, nucleus, force, energy. So once you get the gist to that, then you can clearly understand that our actions, thoughts, and deeds must be purified by a higher nature before they become manifest as wisdom and truth. See, ascension is only possible through spiritual evolution, where one comes to operate under the direction of the higher self. As we see, Job is resurrecting into a higher plane of consciousness by the end of the story. Just like Yahshua rising from the dead. See, Yah knew where Satan, your ego, had been. And what it had been doing, just like when he asked Adam, where art thou? Atom, where art thou? Stardust. Like I stated before, Satan represents the ego edging God out. Then we are operating from the left side of our mind through our ego, vanity, and emotions. In which that represents the anti-Christos, the carnal nature. And that leads us away from God. 666 is everything directed from the left the tree of knowledge of good and evil so we need to go into the garden of eden east or the right hemisphere or the right frame of mind in our meditation where the tree of life of knowledge of self wisdom self-awareness understanding self-manifestation and shut down a thought in the stillness of our meditation in order to activate that tree of life that christos inside of us See, 666 is symbolic to the lower half or aspect of ourselves, the lower frequency. See, number nine is a higher sense of consciousness. Well, 144,000 stands for the higher or spiritual aspect of our consciousness. Six plus six plus six equals nine. One plus four plus four equals nine. Six plus six plus six. Hmm. Now the mountain is mentioned in the Bible. It's symbolic to the spiritual high point and is connected with the spiritual states and meditation through visions within the third eye. And the third eye is the highest point in us. 
We just have to develop a stillness within ourselves to access that power. The key word is stillness. See, we are afraid to be alone. We are afraid to face that truth. See, until we look in the mirror and deal with the shadows, can't be free. Peace and blessings.